Karibu bwana wako patia Yesu makofu mazuri. I don't know kama leo tulikuwa hapa tunataka kuomba na kama tulikuwa hapa kwa shida ya ile ya goti hapa. Kwa shida ya goti hapa sasa sasa just kama pili. Kwa shida ya goti. Ndio basi. Ya not ya hello person online. God bless you. Hello kumbani kwa karibu. Nataka tukasome neno. Tukafundishe. Songa tukaribu. Songa karibu. Songa karibu. Chola na chola kulini. Amen. Wanatukuze sana. Ah. Uh, ukiangalia siku hizi napenda kufundisha watu sana. Bana sifu. Bana tumepiga maombi kwa muda mrefu na watu wengi nikaona baada ya kupiga maombi wanajadilika. Na wana sifiwe. Jambo ambalo lina faida ni hasara kubwa. Praise Lord. Jambo ambalo lina faida ni hasara kubwa. Yaani tuombe miaka mitano na hiyo investment hakuna any great transformation unaweza locate sio maombi iko na shida ni ya kwamba ule muombaji kuna mambo ambayo yajawekwa vyema katika maisha yake yale maombi yakaweza kutoa matokeo bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe sana sio kama kuna mimi haleluya tumeomba kwa muda mrefu na nimekwambia nilipofanya utafiti nikaona watu wengi kulingana expectation yangu maisha yao haijafana bila wanavyopaswa kuwa Unajua kama wewe ni mzazi na unamlisha mtoto na kwa miaka mitano bwana sifiwe anakula na ajaanza kutembea ajaanza kuketi analala kapale kama kibunyu anaona pale kama minyo utakuwa na tatizo kubwa kwa sababu shida si ya kwamba mtoto wa kuli shida ni ya kwamba yale mambo yanapaswa kuwa kwa huyu mtu ayapo na nilipofanya utafiti nikaona namba one ya watu wengi walio ndani ya kanisa wako na a lot of ignorance wanasifiwa haleluya Sijui kama unaelewa what is ignorant. Ignorant ni hali ya kupuuza. Kupuuza nini? Tuseme kwa mfano uone 10000 kumianguka mahali alafu usipuuze. Tuseme si hizi kakua pesa rini. Mtu mwingine aje aziokote wewe kwa mfuko nyuma yako. Si atu wewe hauna pesa kwa sababu ukuziona. Wewe auna hizo pesa maana ulipuuza. Kwa hivyo nafasi ile ilipeanwa kwako. Na ndio maandiko nasema ya kwamba time and chance are given to all. Kwa hivyo hakuna mtu katika maisha Mungu apati nafasi. Bwana sifiwe. Haleluya. Lakini mara nyingine tukianza kuomba watu wengi wanategemea supernatural ifanye mambo ambayo ni yanacho. Yaani mtu sababu anaomba anataka akiamka siku apate mafi kutoka kwa tumbo ikajipeleka kwa choo kwa hivyo yeye asiende kwa choo. Sikujiona ngelewa. Anataka apate jioni ungali lijipiga ina, na ikaingia kwa tumbo. Na supernatural kuna mambo wa Kristo wanataka itendeke hivyo. And that does not happen at all. Tell you about their things that will never will never happen at all kuna mambo lazima wewe uchukue hatua kwa ingine bwana sifiwe sana haleluya na uyaweke katika practicality in your life nikupe tu mfano watu wengi wanangoja kuoa na wengine kuolewa lakini hakuna hatua yoyote wamechukua kuhusu hiyo kwa kama ni ndugu hajauliza msichana yote ya Maria. Hajataka kumjua lakini anaombea marriage. Bwana sifiwe sana. Kuna kuongelezwa na Mungu akwambie bibi yako ni fulani na kuna mtu utaongelezwa utaenda uangalie uangalizwe. Wewe naweza ukoo. After all kuna malaika. 
Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Mimi naomba kuliko almost all of you. Not almost, naomba than all of you. Kwa hivyo I qualify to teach what I'm teaching. Bwana asifiwe sana. Watu wengi wa wokovu hawachukui practicality atua ambazo zinapokaa kuchukuzo kuchukuliwa niliambia watu mali kwa naomba nikamwambia wadada ukiona wewe uolewe utafuta ndugu mmoja uanze kumuongelesha uanze kumtia sentence ya kwa kutajesti mpaka anasema siku moja na siku wale basi wanasema haipo ndio watu wote bana bana sifa sana unaweza kaa forever na wewe unataka kuolewa si hatutaki kuolewa na Hata unatuma mbomia wewe ndio jamaa uweze kufanya. Anionaki na nakuanga. Sasa wewe si hata wewe una kielele ni ya kwamba wewe unachukua hatua. Niliwaambia maandiko inasema ya kwamba wale watu wote Mungu alifanyia miujiza ilibidi wawe na kitu, wawe na substance. Bwana sifa sana. Mwanamke aliyetokwa na damu alikuwa na imani alisema nikimguza pindo la nguo yake nitapona mimi nikiinguza kwa hivyo akusema Yesu ndio yule sasa nipone hapana alisema nikiinguza na akachukua hatua akasukumana na watu mpaka akaingusa bwana sifa sana mwanamke muzarafedi alikuwa na tumafuta na kaoka Bwana niambie Lia angetokea hapo ki hakuna unga hakuna hata nyungu ya kuweka unga. Wangeanzia na wapi? Labda kuna watu wengi huko walikuwa wanataka hiyo muujiza lakini hata nyungu hawajua na ya kuweka unga. Hata chupa walitupa ya mafuta wakati mafuta ilisha. Kwa hivyo akunge kuwa na mahali ambapo Mungu anaweza ingilia. So many people hawana mahali Mungu anaweza ingilia. Na hapo wako na hapo mahali Mungu anaweza ingilia. Wajaweka the correct investment here. Bwana Yesu akwe sifa sana. Am I talking to someone? Wa Kristo wengi hawana information. Bwana sifa sana wako na hopes wako na matarajio na tumaini lakini ile tumaini na matarajio yao haina msingi kwa hivyo ile matarajio na tumaini inapaki hivyo tu na wapendwa niwaambie Mungu sio mokora tuniza tumwambie Mungu sio mokora na Mungu sio muganga mambo mengine wa Kristo wengi wanataka ni ya kiuganga uganga hivi kiuganga uganga hivi tu na leo na kubiri kwa sababu hii chapter nataka kukubiria mpaka ikuingie Bwana asifiwe sana kwa sababu kuna nafasi ya kufanikiwa tumesha nimesha kutabiria sasa ni kuchukua tu hiyo ndio nataka uchukue ya kwamba mimi nitaifanya nini Daudi alikuwa anacheza gitaa Gitaji ilimtoa msituni ya kwanza. Daudi mara ya pili alikuwa anajua kutupa mawe. Wewe unajua nini? Aujui kucheza gitaa, aujui kutupa mawe. Daudi alikuwa anajua kutupa mawe. Kwa hivyo wakati alienda kukutana na Goliath, alipanga mawe yake vizuri. Kwa hivyo alikuwa amejua kulenga shabaha. Akwa mtu akitaka kugonga pale anagonga bibi. Hapana. Alikuwa ametupa mawe mpaka akakuwa na shabaha. Na wakati anajifunza yale mambo, alikuwa na fellowship na Mungu. Unajua nimefanya utafiti nikaona Wakristo wengi japokuwa wanaenda kanisani, hawana fellowship na Mungu. Wako na tabia ambazo zinafanana na utakatifu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yaani wa Kristo wako na tabia ambazo zinafanana na utakatifu lakini ndani ya mioyo yao hawako hivyo. Kwa hivyo wana hack salvation. Ndiyo mtu mwambie hakuna haja ya kuhack salvation. Ya vile unaongea unaongea kama mtu ambaye amekuwa shakaola kifupi. 
Kama kama unaongea na mtu ambaye ni wiki. Bwana asikia sana. Hallelujah. Unaona kama mtu amefunga huko shamba la wiki moja, unaweza. Ameokolewa na ambulance. Na umegonga kitu cha asubuhi, chai na mandasi na saa saba bado. Chai na sapati kama tatu na ndevu. Siatembea huko ndani ya tuko na wazee. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Tuko pamoja. Lazima if you want to walk with God elementary una uhusiano mahusiano ni kutoka ndani ya moyo wako watu wengi wana heart salvation ndipo hapa kanisani na kwa watu ni mtu mzuri hapa kwa wokovu ni mtu mzuri lakini akienda nyumbani akiwa yuko kwa takatifu ni mtu mwingine kwa sababu kile anafanya ana heart salvation na ufai wa salvation unajua nilipookoka niliporudia Yesu nilipookoka niliporudia Yesu 19 2002 maana niliwaambia mimi niliokoka 1992 nika backslide 1999 nilipoona dunia vile si kwa nimeshaiona dunia usitwambia hapa kama uja uko uja uliambia hapo uwezi ka backslide tuambia tu naenda maisha yako mkono ni mkoa na kuongoza kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa mwokovu msuri lakini niliona kitu sijaiona kwetu Eliona stare maisha sijaona sasa kasema hii maisha baba acha nyote. Tango neno la Bwana lilikuwa ndani yangu. Kwa sababu ya neno la Bwana kuwa ndani yangu. Hilo neno lilirudisha katika wokovu. Na niliporudia wokovu 2002. Niliambia Mungu siogokei mtu. Kwa hivyo sitaki nikae kama wokovu. Maana wokovu wengi ni kuhaki wana haki. Bwana sifa sana. Wanavaa vizuri wakija kanisani. Ukitaka kujua utane kama ajuko hapo. Utajua sio moko. Ababa akaongo kingine unaweza hesabu ngo ya ndani ina maua inafanana. Lakini kanisani hawezi akavaa kwa kuwa. Maana alipokuwa kanisani alikuwa na haki. Unajua bwana sifa sana. Hivyo ndivyo watu wengi Mungu ajuko na wao kwa sababu ya wako sisi. Ukisoma habari ya Daudi anapoenda kumwongelesha Mungu katika sapuri ya msina mbili. Anamwambia Mungu mimi kwanza nikafanye utafiti kaona kwa dhambi mama yangu na baba yangu wamenisa. Na wameniweka kwa uovu, na mimi nimezaliwa kwa uovu. Na anasema dhambi zangu ziko mbele yangu. Hivi unaniona hivi mimi dhambi ziko hapa kwa uso. Na anakuwa na genuine repentance. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ukitaka ujua amefanya genuine repentance ali research ninaweza fanya aje nisirudi kwa dhambi alafu akaandika sapuni 113 na 19 na kumi nasema kwamba neno lako nimelificha ndani ya moyo wangu nisikukose kwa hivyo alipofanya research kile kinaweza kusaidia asirudi kwa dhambi ali discover to take the word of god na ku deposit ndani ya moyo wangu bwana sifiwe sana so if you want to succeed in life number one, wachana na wokovu wa hypocrisy usiogokee mtu usiogokee mtu usikae mwokovu furaisha mtu tafuta kufurahisha Mungu bwana sifiwe sana usiogoke ya kwamba ati unajua sasa sasa mimi ni mwokovu lazima nikae hivi eh? Okokea Mungu, okokea kwamba mimi nataka Mungu katika maisha yangu ya pili, work out personal relationship with him. Not church relationship. Watu wengi wako na mahusiano na kanisa ile wanaenda, lakini hawana mahusiano na Mungu. Ndio utaona hapa Jumapili. Bwana sifiwe sana. Wale si tuko na magari, kuna magari, una mafuta ya kwenda kurandarana lakini wakati itakuwa ni mafuta kwenda kanisani unaanza kusema gari langu halina mafuta brada a lot of nonsense ni kwa sababu haya ni kwa sababu hatuna uhusiano na Mungu tu bali hatuna magati kuna wakati wa kwenda mahali popote kufanya shughuli lolote tunaweza lakini nikifika ni kwa Mungu ni baada ambao sio jumapili ah unajua niko busy na kwa sababu inside us we are not genuine with God So ukitaka safari na Mungu namba one, ndani ya moyo wako kuwa na genuinity relationship with him. Sio hypocritical, genuine. 
Fali jenui. Ukienda kwa mungu kwa jenui. Sio hii maombi watu wana. Unajua batima ya niyoba maombi wani jenui. Usha isikisa maombi ya batima. Usha isikisa maombi ya batima. But, but my own between yes, one hour doubt, your devil, knowledge of you. So I told you to remember Mount Bibinga and the JGU. Because I want to tell your mom, Una Wanga hypocrite, Panza Una Japan, Una Kia Muga, the Fania Pia, Una Eka Pia, Kenda Pamu, Una Tangereza Sura. I said, My father, in the name of Jesus, that Tangereza Piso, we come before you this afternoon. Kwaki hakuna mori na kuna anga afternoon. We want to thank you. I po. Ipia. Mungu wa muviwi na piyara. Piyara inamuvisha watu wa mawa na operate in hypocrisy. We come this evening. We want to thank you. Nika. Nika. Una mwepake jika prayer. Ata watu wana kwa piyara. Thank you. The way you prayed for us was nice. So when Adam they were moved by their prayer, but there is no answer. You will know that prayer went nowhere because there was no answer. This prayer was not genuine. It was a piha. Although a piha when you go to God. When you go to God, put away public relationship. God is not public. God is the I am that I am. Ancient of days, he cannot be changed and he does not need any man to be God. He is God with or without man. Before man was, he was. The Bible says in the beginning, God. So the beginning of everything is there. The Bible says it's hard for me. You are poor. Hallelujah. That's number one. It's genuine. Number two. I know I have come by my own nice. Unaisi ya pandunia. Kwa hivyo elewa mutu wakiwa hapa duniani ni sheria kani ambazo ni taweza kuhishi nazo na niishi maisha nisuni. Adaptation. Adaptation. Sasa tukifunga safari ya patuene marikani. Sisi na isi manguo setu za fasa Afrika. Au ya beba, umebeba jamba kama ya sasa hii ya ya Dikon Joseph. Hii jamba ya Dikon Joseph ukienda kule kuna snow ni kama mtu wa beba vest. Huko watu wanabama, wanajipam, wana, wana, wana prepare kulingana na huko kwa baridi. Kwa hivyo huko mtu anakuwa ananunua zile majaka zimeya kwa manyoya ya ndani. Ziko na manyoya ya ndani na tena nje iko na manyoya mengine. Ile nguo ukivaa hakuna mjoto itawai epa. Kila njota inaenda inapiga manyoya inafanya wo una stay wo. Na unapata mtu amevaa mpaka hicho kikofia amebakisha tu hapa tu macho pakora. Na amevaa mabuti ambazo siko na skin, siko na hiyo manyoya ndani za kuweka uo. Hiyo ni posa aweze kuishi kwa hiyo area. Asipofanya hivyo atauliwa na baridi, ata ata freeze, asipo freeze atauliwa na pneumonia. Inaitwa pneumonia au pneumonia bali pneumonia. Sa kwa watu wengi waelewe ya kwamba tuko hapa duniani, kwa hivyo wajaanza kuelewa what are the tactics of living here? I need to adapt life under the sun. Practicality, Genesis chapter number 26. Maandiko naseme ya kwamba, my voice is not good, let it taste. Maandiko naseme ya kwamba, Isaac alitaka kutoroka, I am the missing. Mungu akamkuta kwa barabara akamwambia usiende Misri alipomwambia siende Misri Mungu akunyesha maana alimwambia panda the way of living here one of them is to sow panda kwa kuna mtu kuna mahali mapanda kitu hapa kwa tu hapa kwa garaka yeah I'm gonna answer look at it god been god pastor jackson and there was drought. He told him so. Where will you harvest? Why not there was a couple of four, three to four months, minimum of two. 
Isaac did not have resources, but he had subjected himself into the operation and the processes of how people live here. Kuna watu vile wanaishi is not logic. Wanasikia sana. Na ndipo nilikwambia kwamba wale watu wote Mungu alitumia na akifanyia jambo walikuwa na kitu. Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba Mungu akamuuliza Musa uko na nini? Akamwambia niko na vimbo. Tengeza mtu muulize uko na nini. Walikuwa hapa kesha juice ukio. Walikuwa naomba Mungu baba naomba finance operative baba naomba grace. Mungu atapita hapo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Are you with me? Unajua watu wengi walikuwa na vimbo lakini waliangalia wakatafuta maana yake wakatupa. Imagine kama Musa angetupa hiyo vimbo. Itapo. Alafu Mungu anakuja kwa mtu kwa anasema sina kitu. Musa mtu mwambie Mungu afanye mahali hapo na kitu. Sema mtu kwa hiyo kuwa na kitu. Ah, tendeza mwanzo kumwambia kuwa na kitu. Kuwa na mpango. Bwana sifa sana. Wacha imamu ya kumbojea abracadabra, unaekelea loto. Unaekelea ka 50 loto. Unaekelea mbao siju unaingiza zinyanga tatu tatu. Unangojea bahati. Mungu aishi, Mungu hajaweka maisha ya kuishi kwa bahati. God does not have a principle called luck. And you will never find that word in the Bible called luck. You will either find favor and grace, but you will never find favor, luck. Because luck is not an element in the kingdom of God. It's an element in the demonic kingdom. Bahati, auta wai pata neno bahati kwa biblia. Na kama hiko kujo mienis. Ati na abrango, haka pata bahati. Haka awa sara. Haka tu. Haka awa sara. Na wakika haka, haka pata bahati. Waka sari zaka. Na haka pata bahati wakatajirika. Hakuna kitu kama hitu. Maandiko lesema, na Ibrahimu haka pata kibahati bele za buwa. Maandiko lesema, na ye yesu haka kuwa kimwili. Maandiko lesema, haka kuwa kwa neema. Na haka kuwa kwa ekima. Sasa watu wengi wana grow in grace. Wana grow in wisdom, but they don't grow physically. Wana Yesu wa pesi kwa sana. Ama yi communicate. Sia soma Biblia, we are going to be back. I'm just trying to introduce you. The kind of poverty in church should not be there. Ilo maski niko kwa kanisa ifai iwe. Ifai. Na dawa ya ilo maski ni siyo maombi peke yake. Kwa nasipia sana. Ni ya kwanza kuwanze kukua. Una nini? Wawo kwa na nini? What do you have? That God can touch, can use to change your life. Nini ukwa na? Usiniambia ya kwamba, you know, I decide. It's good to be a housewife because we are taking care of children. It's good. Being a housewife is not, I'm not having work. Kulia watoto ni kasi nyingi sana. Sindiyo? Mie ata nikiachua moja na nisumua. Wana sifu ya sana. Lakini kama unalea watoto kwa kwako, suyambie jirani yako wa kuachi yake wake. Na kupi 150 kila jiyo. Kukipata na jirani kumi na uwa mwaminifu kwa watoto. Uwe tena maikima ya kudili na watoto. Wana sifu ya sana. Ukikuja hapa kanisa unawambia mungu na kushkuru, maana niko na ahedia. Ninataka unite kibari kwa watu. Ya kwamba ni kiongelezo waniache watoto wa kienda kazi, wataniachia. Nilikuwa siku moja niko hapa nyongu. Na shule kwa mwasaya, hii shule kakua kwa nafunga. Sasa nikaona tutoto twingi tunaranda randa hapo, tulikuwa tuna siju na tengeleza nini hapa nyongu. Nikauliza mwalimu, wana watoto wendi mwani? Chimwenda mkatuwa hivyo. Nikaabua watoto mama zao na baba zao walienda kazi. Na waliyata wamefunga nyumba. Kwa hivyo hawa watoto, awana pakwenda baka mazazi wengine. 
Sasa wao ukichukua watoto kumi wa mjange mzazi, huyu mtoto mimi akitoka shule nitachukua. Mbaka ile saa utatoka mtoto wako ukijie kwa bora unipe tu ka 50. Hata tatu. Ukiwa na watoto tatu kumi wa kuchukua saa kumi wa kutoka shule kila mama akupe tatibo na ni watoto kumi kutoka saa kumi mpaka saa moja si umetengeneza mia tatu unajua watu wengi kwa nini wawezi wakapaa kimaisha wana madharau kwa mianzo midogo na hawataki kuanza chini wataki kuanza kwa udogo hawataki wanasema mnatumia vibaya sasa wao wako na experience gani wazo kuachua mtoto wa mtu na 150 apart from kukaa naye unampatia nini unamsaidia kufanya homa bwana sifa sana unajua maandiko nasema ya kwamba na nitawapatia utajiri nitafungua madrisa miguni na nitaachilia utajiri mtakosa mahali ya kuweka watu wengi wakileta tithe hapa wanafikiria baada ya kuleta tithe watapata pesa iko bei hapana Mungu atakupatia ideas watu wengi hapa si idea mko umekuwa naanza kutajirika ungeanza kuziweka kwa maisha ungekuwa bilionea size lakini ulipo ulianza kupiga hesabu sasa ule anataka anaanza kusema tuanza kuweka watoto tunahitaji tukomboe nyumba sasa hivi ndio naanza nataka tukomboe nyumba uganga uganga pesa ukomboe nyumba ya kwako watoto kwa chukua weka kwako wana si pesa have you not seen how many small business people they make a lot of loss angalia hizi vios kutoka hapa mpaka pale mtu anakuja na kiburi Nana alichukua kaloni 100,000 anakomboa kibanda hapa moja. Anaenda analeta mtu anaeka pounds, pounds kila mahali. Pounds inapigwa, inapigwa chimbo ndugu kando na inapakwa rangi ukiingia hapo imeanga. Anakwambia pata kuweka biashara, nataka kuweka saluni. Ana mteja hata mmoja. Ile pesa alichukua loan 50,000 imesha kitengeneza. Na hiyo nyumba anafaa kulipa 7,000. Kwa hiyo alipa 3,000 deposit. Na hiyo pesa ni mzee amechukua loan agenda sana Sasa ana keti hapo akingoja wakede. Na kwa sababu ni biashara ndogo within one month inaweza kutengeneza 3000 ama 4000. Ile nyumba yesi kalipa. Mzee anarudi kwa mfuko. Na kwa sababu you are not careful una squanda hizo pesa. You are living like a CEO anayefanya kazi safari kwa Ani watu ambao wajadapt you must adapt life. I'm not joking. Some of you don't like the way I'm talking. Na I'll still talk. So that if you are poor I'm not responsible. I will speak. If you are poor I'm not responsible. Bwana sikia sana. Tikisa mwanzo mwambie masomo sio mato. Utajiri sio matokeo ya masomo. Kisa mwanza kwa mwanglesi, mwambie mimi naangalia nyinyi wote mko wengi, naweza master kila mmoja wangu bila nabii. Kama mjakaa na mtu tafuta mtu, bana. Hata nyinyi tuitaji asha zuko before you come, there was no asha. Come here. Before you come, who was asha? Ujeri hapa. Hapa tutatuna watu wa midi. Bill and you are have. Ujeri hapa. Bana sasa sasa si ya tuko na asha bifo so we can work it out mtatu mtatusaidia sana we appreciate your work very well wanaisha pe sifa sana are you with me sasa kule mtu ali invest 100000 within 3 months anafunga ile biashara na anaenda nyumbani kule mtu ni kwa sababu alianza biashara na kiburi angeanza kusukia watu kwake a grow crime ten biashara yake it demand a venue in the business it demand a venue na tuna pata mtu ameanza bwana sifa sana a i with me na ile pesa sio saving ni loan so unapata within 6 months they are under crisis hawa ni watu ambao hawajadapt 
now life under the sun. Life under the sun, it is from small to great. It's from glory to glory. Not from great glory to a small glory. Principle, the upper dunyani, means from one glory to another, to another. To live on say canisa, to live on a speaker moja. A book a microphone, a book a amplifier, amplifier, you go a radio. Naikua yet. Lakini we have grown from that small. Every day we are growing. Every day we are growing. We are growing. Every day we have never borrowed. Shilo washi means to your manga to go panga press out. To go copa bank. Now to keep cover to Limambia. Feel to the Asa Gulipa. Mambia to Lipa the smallest amount per month. Kabla to go press. So that we are sitting at the same time is unrealistic. Na tangu tukopo ya mtu pesa tujawai kwa upa tena. Na ni wakati kwa mna jema, kwa mna jema, kwa mna jema. Wana sufesa. Are you with me? Mungu wali mwambia isaka panda. Iyo ni adapti. With the environment. Watu wengi wajia adapti. Wakwa kwa kwa unrealistic. How realistic are you living? How realistic are you living? Praise the Lord. So many people they are praying for supernatural. God is a supply of supernatural, but He does not supply supernatural in an empty container. Containers. Kumbuka ni you build yapa last Wednesday. The same as the same as when a kid, you can't be empty. You man, the same as when a kid. What is your message, sir? Are you with me? So when you adapt, agree, bow to the law of growth. Little to great, not great to great. Small. Mutoto wa kianza kumbika na zanga katika almost a little microscopic. Because spermatozoos are not able to be seen with naked eyes. I believe I've never seen an ovaries, but I believe they are in the same size, right? Well, those who do biology. 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 So, are ovaries visible with naked eyes? They are not visible. But that's where you came from. You come from what cannot be seen with naked eyes. And within one week, you are something that cannot be defined. Within one month, you are just looking like an animal. You want to get a tuna tuna. I don't have a big one. I don't have a big one. But that a stage is a stage of growth. Are you trying? Are you seeing what I'm talking about? And within six months, you end shape. Doctors could touch the belly of your mother and even sometimes define your gender. And then you are born less than one foot. So you are going to put him on the table. Put him on the table or else not. Size your thumbs. Less than five kilos. Less than five kilos. Most of us were born less than five kilos. Three point five. But I'll get a kilo million. I'll get a kilo more. When I jam out to the sun, my mama yaki ali niambi ali kuwa na murap na mangwome gimano wa kumishika kwa ya kana toroke ya. Lakini leo ni engineer kia book count. Ana prepare katu na nyundo. Aki bonga korofa mtu nyongu nyongu nyundo mbili. Ana zase ba yebe chini na mabalisi. So many people they don't comply with the law of growth. They are lost. They are hallucinating. That bitu kuba kuba, bitu kuba kuba. Twice on bitu kuba kuba, twice on bakilia. What a serious one. Zione mbali. Sema sita kujia. Lakini mahali ni kusasa mitango. Wana eso kwa serious one. Allow the law of growth. Everything under this world comes from small to great and to mighty and gigantic. What is it? Vitu kuba kuba na una pesa yaka. Uko na simu kuba na ulikopa. Uko online na umefulisa. You are not real life if you are such kind of a person. You are in danger to yourself. You are in danger to your life advancement. Now you are laughing for us on YouTube. 
Then you attack Kufurisha online. Who do you want to please? You are pleasing people at the expense of your own testing. Ni kwa sababu umepoteza reality. With such kind of life that you can, God can not risk blessing you. You are a squanderer. You are a waster. Am I talking? What does it feel like? I'm just teaching how to grow it. Because you can. Tell your neighbor you can. Kill on a fan. What is it? Abia sa Every one of us has possibility. I told you the other day what you need is to find the path. The path. The path. Now once you identify the elements, when, when they are combined, they produce a great man. And I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you. Wengine tumekemea mapepo, tumekemea mapepo yote isha isha. Lakini unataka wangu ya wana mapepo. Kama shetani yote isha enda. Hakuna hata moja wakari. Wanda ile moto yiku wapa ni nini. Lakini maisha hako ijabandika. Kwa sababu akili yako ijabandika. Unadil na mambo. Vile ambavyo haifai kukudiliwa nae. Hata kama una, hata kama uko na imani kiasigani. Awezi ukakoroga sufuri hile kubwa ugani na kijiku. Awezi, hata kama kuna imani kiasi gani. Awezi ukachukua kichuka kukula. Na ukoroge unga mao ni mwaga sufriende kubwa. Na ukamanga kilomitu. Atu koroge hivyo ugali na kijiko. I want to assure you after praying that. Go fast 100 days and come back. It is impossible. The problem is not faith. The problem is you and reality. You have lost touch with reality. And you have, I, you are, you have hyped everything. Uwefanya kila kitu hyped. One is my principles. Hallelujah. Uki tukwa na touch na reality. Now begin to identify yourself. Answer to identify what are you good at. Because kuna vitu, kuna vitu you are not good at. If you start them, ita tukwa muda kabla u pick up. Na kuna sile vitu kifanya, ita kutukwa muda. For example, let me give you practicality. If you are very talkative, you can do very easy marketing. You can do very easy marketing. Because katikati ya kuongea, utambia mtu nabadhe na usanga jumu. Usanga biyati. Mina usanga mabra. Naneza kuleti ya mzuri. Miko nasu kwanza saizi yako. Kwanza kala. Iyo kala kuna kufiti. Kivaa sante na kwambia kila mtu na mpani. Umeweza. Lakini kuna mtu mpule. Hame nyamaza. Aungiangi sana. Kwa hivyo wakianza kuuza. Bitu ambago inaitaji kutangazo sana. Lakini uye mtu wata esafanya biyasa. Biyasa ragani. Ya bitu ambago watu wanaenda kutafuta. Kuna bitu wewe. Hapa wewe wala mtaalisi ya chakuli ya sapa. Mnaenda kutafuta mbogo. Ama mbogo enda. Ushiona mtu akita mboga mboga kwa kibao. Ushiona mtu akita nini? Kwa nini? Wewe ndio unahitaji mboga kuliko kila mboga inakuhitaji. <laughs> kwa hivyo hata ukipata mtu wala unaanza kukasirika. Sasa mmemalizia mboga na kula ngala. Unapata unaenda bimbanda kama hiyo ukitafuta mboga. Kwanza tukichelewa hapa ipana, nikianza kubiza, nitukisha saa tatu, kuna mboga mwenyewe. Sia ati ni nini vile upendi yesu, ni mboga ime kuambia, na wende kabla tuishi. Ni mboga ime kuangalesha. So hata kama mtu ni mpole, aelewi biyasara, hakuna vitu wakiuza, watu watakuli. Wana sifia sana. So lazima uwelewe, and what is your compatibility with your life? Are you with me? Unajua hata undogo kuna vitu inakataa. Na no, nataka nisome Biblia. Ana sato barikiwa. Si njaa kuwekea msingi. Friday Sunday kuwa hapa mapema kwa darasa. Tuliza kuambia kuwa hapa mapema kwa darasa. Wacha wewe ucheso kwa nani? Kwa kulala kama mtu ana kombiti usilisi na wafu. Hakuna kitu unachokuanga serious kiu kanisa late. Hata mbinguni utafika ongoe bilango shafu. 
Nambia tukita watu ulikuwa hapi. Na nilikuwa nilikuwa kwa bafu. Nilijelewa nilikuwa nilala. My friend. Wana sikia sana. Are you with me? Genesis 39. Genesis 39. Na wale wanakuwa wanakuja darasa kwa Yesu. Ni watu kwa leadership wanakuwa washika flat. Washika flat. Sasa uwezi kwa kiongozi na uko mbele. Unafaa uwe mbele, unaomba zaidi. Bwana sio sana. Maisha yako imebadilika zaidi. Hata hii wakati mlikuwa shule, wale watu walikuwa wanafanya prefect. Walikuwa wangu watu wanakupata hii. Kwa nini shule kuchukua mtu wa hii pe? Edward na Edgar. Ni wrong example. Pambano na vitabu kwanza kabla upambane na watu. Kwa hivyo kwa kiongozi ni kuwa mfano, sio unakuja hapa saa nane. Nasema unajua. Bwana siwe sawa. Ndio nimejipiana kufundisha hii mwaka yote na kuweka kwa darasa. Nikifika December I want to see change in each and every one of you. And I want to tell you some of you thank you. You even call me and thank you. Some of you gather and say we need to buy the lamb of God a good car, a bigger car. He has taught us life. There is a lot of potential inside you. What you have done is that you have not known the potential. You have never exploited yourself. And I say there the greatest discovery is self discovery. Yaani ile kitu kile kujua ya maana ni kujitambua wewe. Bwana Yesu akasifa sana. Hallelujah. Maandiko na sina Joseph and be taken down to Egypt. The and Potiphar, an officer of the Pharaoh, a captain of the guard of the Egyptian, brought him from the Ishmaelite, all and taken him down there. Maandiko nasema naye Yusufu akapele kwa Misri. Wanasifia sana. Na wa Ishmaeli ndio walimpeleka wapande. Now, this scripture they take a lot of time and we also have time to pray about maybe Sunday we find time and pray about. Maana Yusufu alipelekwa Misri na ndugu zake. One watu wa kare, watu wa kwao ndio walimuuza. Bwana sifu. Aliuzwa na ndugu zake na unajua alinunuliwa na nani? Alinunuliwa na makasi zake. Mhm, niangalie. Ismaili ni mwana wa Ibrahim. Kama vile Isaka ni mwana wa Ibrahim. Tuko pamoja. Isaka Aliza Yakobo Yakobo ndiye Israeli na ye Ishmael Aliza the Ishmaelites kwa hivyo madugu wa mtu walimuuza kwa kazi ya kukitaka kufanikiwa tu hiyo akili ya watu wenu kwa akili yako narudia wale mnafikiria mimi ni wasili sasa watu wenu wanakuja ukaa hapo kwa nyumba ya hapa Nairobi sina shida watu ara wanu so practical Usarago ni 11,000. Una kasi yako anaisha hapo anafanya kazi. Na sister yako ametoka kwa shakopi amekuja hapo. Si wewe uko na loan. Ndani ya matumbo ya watu. Mtu aende ushago akalinde mashamba. Mama hakuna mtu anapatanga pesa kutuma pesa. Pesa haitend to soft. Kama unataka pesa lazima muachane na softness. Mimi nasaidia watu sana kukulipa lakini kama sifai kusaidia sikusaidii period. No. Sikiza hiyo script ya nimesoma. Ukirudi nyuma Yusufu aliuzwa na nani? We, answer me. Yusufu aliuzwa na nani? Nani walimununua? Watu wengi hawana mko hapa shida yenu inatoka kwenu. Shida yangu inatoka kwenu. Ukipata shilingi moja, mtu anakupigia simu. Sasa hapa kimeumana tumeko ile umeona kuna tumu hakuna siku pesa ndakaa kwa mfuga hakuna mtu ana shida na uwezo kumaliza shida mimi siwezi kumaliza shida kwa hiyo kuna siku mamaangu alijuzi nilimwambia sita wewe lipa watu wa kibaru kama amulimi na ule mfanyikazi nalipa hiyo shamba ijaye magugu na sikai kujua na mamaangu anajua nikisema situmi pesa situmi hakuna discussion finish pesa bali leo niko na mamba nyingine mfanyikazi wanampatia kulisha mbusi na ngombe za ndugu zangu mbusi za kina ndugu zangu alimi shamba 
Sasa mimi nilipe mtu anikuipalia. Akasema naona Musa amemwambia zangu zote mimi nitakulipia mfanye kazi akusaidie. Lakini usiniambie nilipe mtu anikuipalia. Mamangu akinisikia amesema sisipeni pesa. Si ati sina pesa, niko na pesa na sipeani. Mimi nasaidia kwetu. Kwetu mimi kila mwezi wa mwezi siri kwa mbili pesa natuma. Lakini ndugu zangu wote wakakusanywa wote waweze wakatupeana hiyo pesa kwa miezi tatu. Wana si pesa. But there is a money I can never give them. I don't give my people what I don't have. Period. What when we were to wakafanikiwa kwa sababu maisha yao hata waongozi inaongozwa na watu wengi. Ukitaka kufanikiwa in life get out of your family circle. Uh, some of you don't like me. Go to your Bible. Show me any great man that succeeded in the circle of his family. I'll give you 2000. Read your Bible quickly. Now, I'll give you 2000. Two. Now, see you tomorrow. Now. Nionyeshe mtu aliyefanikiwa katika sako ya watu wao. Kila mtu alifanikiwa alipotoka kwao. Maandiko yanasema naye Mungu akamtokea Ibrahimu mwanzo 12 akamwambia ondoka kwa nyumba ya baba yako na kwa watu wenu. Uende ile enzi itakao kuonyesha nani nitakufanya mkubwa. Maandiko yanasema na ndugu za Jabal wakamwita wakamwambia wewe ni mwana wa Kaaba. Baba yetu alikuzaa katika tia yeye na mwanamke mgeni. Maandiko yanasema naye yeye akaenda yeye alipokataliwa alienda akajitengeneza akakuwa mwana askari hodari. Hivyo waliposikia amekuwa hodari ndipo akamtumana wakamwambia tuliona wewe ni hodari. Akamwambia mketi chini sikuji hivyo mnachukua akawaambia sikuji hivyo akawaambia nitakuja kuwapigania kwa condition moja kama mtakubali wewe ungesema yeye ni mbaya sana eh ania sikuji mpigwa muishe kama mnataka nikuje niwapiganie wanapigwa anyaondoka kusema he watu wote wanapigwa wewe unasikia watu wengi wanapigwa unatoka mbio watu wengine wao ni kile kinawapiga wao ndio alileta nyumbani wewe unataka kusaidia nini wana sasa unaenda kupigana na mashetani na watu ndio waleta nyumbani waambie wapambane na mashetani mimi singili kule mlitoana na shetani murudi mkaanzana mimi singili mashetani yako oh no 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 wana sasa akawaambia mimi munipe uongozi wa hii familia yote kwa hiyo nikienda nishinde nitakuwa kiongozi wenu kusaini hapo wakasign contract hivyo ndivyo alienda vitani wewe wewe ungekuwa wewe ungefanya hivyo ni mtu alielewa njia watu wanafanikiwa Bwana sifa sana Ni ngumu Mungu akutengeneze katika kati ya watu wako Ni ngumu sana Ni ngumu sana Enda uche Enda ule mtu yote maisha yao mimi kuna watu wengi nimeni advise kuna kijana mmoja mmoja nikamwambia hivi kwenu ukuko toka nje toka hapo ukikaa maisha yako itaipenda Akanisikiza akatoka miaka mitatu miaka mitatu maisha yake ilipenya baada ya miaka mitatu akawafungulia mlango akarudi kwa akachinja uchaka ukiona mama yako anakupenda sana chunga sana sisemi usipendo na mama yako lakini uniona anakupenda sana mama yako atakumaliza Ukiona baba yako anakupenda sana, chunga sana, baba yako atakumaliza. Kwa sababu mtoto yote anapendwa na baba yake kama yangu. Anaambia kwa haki baba ulifanya hivyo sawa tu. Jua tu mimi nakupenda. Aebu kiboko. Kama baba yako unafanya makosa, anakutandika ni kama hujui anakusaidia. Bwana Yesu apee sifa sana. Enda waangalie wale tumeelewa hiyo miaka ya nyuma, wale watu watoto wao wazazi wao walikuwa wanapenda watoto wao sana. Akifanya makosa anatokea shuleni. Mtoto amefanya makosa shuleni, mzazi anaenda huko shuleni. Anasema mtoto yangu, si wa kuchukuliwa hivyo mnafikiria, wewe mtoto wangu, mtoto wangu, wewe sahihi mko hapa. Unakumbuka hao watu? Eh? Niambieni mtu mmoja maisha yake ni mazuri plus ajabu. Baba kwa mtengea na Yesu Kristo What what happened? The apparent love them so much so they never even wish them to be revealed. 
ati umeoa wewe umeoa mama yako anataka kukuambia vile asikueleze vile anaishi na baba yako hiyo ni ndoa yao yeye na baba yako wewe na huyu ni bibi yako waje kwenda kuuliza mama yako sasa hii mose ni mtuita mama yako wewe sasa tafuta mtu ambaye hamuna uhusiano kwa na mother state unless mama yako akosoka mama yako atakufundisha ku treat bwana yako vile alikuwa na treat baba yako na kama wewe ukupenda vile mama yako ali treat baba yako don't ask am i communicate let me talk a lot of marriages they are crisis because they are being controlled from home najua mama alisema baba yangu anagusa kuja kuongelea ngwa yangu nikitongosa bibi yangu hapo na bibi yangu is not his business. Na mimi si yesi kaangua na wako wenzangu kati huko. Let me have a story moja. Very interesting. Mimi napenda my brother in law sana. Na mpendea hivi. Tuambie story. Siku moja tulikosana na mama. Atuliongelea sana hapa na tukuelewa. Na my wife akatoka akaenda sijui kule aliyenda. Nikachukua simu nikapigia my brother in law. Nikamuuliza bibi yangu anaweza kuwa amekuja huko. My brother and all the same na Africa they go pick up to. Man that is not his business that's what he meant to. Mimi na bibi yangu sio shughuli yake. Mimi nitipanga na bibi yangu nieto kusubu. Bibi yangu akinishinda that's my own problem. For that I'm ever grateful to my brother and you. Mimi nilikuwa nampelekea ujinga za kwangu. Ati wewe umeonea bibi yangu. Tuliona na wana sasa don't think i'm not teaching about prosperity i'm teaching you because some of you you cannot think business because your marriage is in chaos is on fire wana sasa kijana yote ukiuliza mstana mama yako anaenda kumwambia mama yako vile mstana anakaa anambia it is hard for you to marry you will never marry because the only woman who fits you to marry according to your mother is herself and I'm for you can't marry her because you have is your father's husband and the bible says you can not marry your father's husband a lot of people they are, look at what wengi wajaweza pata nafasi ya kufanikiwa kwa sababu zile nafasi walipokuwa nazo wakati walikuwa na nguvu pesa yote walifanya walitafuta ya kuinvest walipeleka nyumbani so by the time they are thinking of investing they don't have strength and chances are gone what is this i'm not saying don't be remember i teach very well to support people i'm trying to bring a balance how you live with your family what is this sir mimi sijui wakati wa mwisho any of my relative atawe dala kwangu na sikumbuki any day ni say dala kwa my relative that is my brothers nafanya nini huko nafanya nini kwa ndugu yangu sinilipe loti nikishindwa kulipa loti nijipange kama mwanao hiyo ndio responsibility ya kupeleka stress kwa watu hata wakati mimi nilikuwa na shida nyingi ile msaada ni siamba my brother ilo nimwambia si unisaidie kulipa school fees hiyo ndio limo sije mama cha kuni nisaidie tu kulipa school fees kama unaweza kama uwezi please wacha nipambane na shida zangu mahali sitanitolea sitanitoa nikiwa mwanaume nitakuwa nimepigwa na maisha nimekuwa na karata nimekuwa na discipline unaenda kukaa kwa watu wengi unakaa 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 kwa kamsiba ukiaka hapo unaamka siku unaona tv watu kama wafukuza kwako wewe ukaka kwa kwangu kwa kamsiba wewe sio mwanafunzi unafanya unaamka siku unakaa kwa tv Unaona channel sote hata TV umeumaliza imeisha namba sote zimeisha. Wewe uko hapa. Hata kama nimeja huruma, mmoja atamka nikwambie eh kuja. Ndio kwa nyumba pak kila kitu. Nitembee na wewe mpaka town. Nikuhesabie fair. Kweli. Wakitaka kusema mimi ni mbaya kwa niko na shida. Sio bikite urais wa kwetu. I don't have any political seat I'm okay. Lakini kama unataka kusaidiwa naona huko na bidii, I will help you. I'm not helping you because you are my simply. I'm helping you because you are potential. 
I'm supporting the potential and the capability that I've seen in you. Mandiko nasema Yusufu alipotokea misiri wale watu walikuwa wamemzunguka ni the issue my light. Walivaa kusema hii ni mtu wa ndani yetu bwana. Lakini walienda walimpiga soko kama watu wa kawaida. Wale mpiga soko kama watu wa kawaida. Hawa kusema huyu ndugu yetu wao ni semeti nini ati semeti. Wana hizo nimekupea tu scripture number 1 Yusuf wale watu walimzunguka wakimpeleka Misri ni watu ndugu watoka nitoke the other brothers na wale ambao walipea ndugu zao pesa ni cousin zake nasema mchukue wanapeleka Yusuf Yusuf ametokea Misri huko ndio amenuliwa na poti sikiza vile biblia inasema angalia ndugu za Yusuf watu wenu they really see the potential in let me tell you what when they really see the potential let me show you in bible unajua mimi niliwaambia hivi wakati nilikuwa naenda shule nilitamani ku raise pesa ya kwenda shule so niliweka ka fundraising ya marafiki dogo hii ma fundraising ya marafiki dogo nitaitaita watu ile kanisa kwanza mimi nilikuwa naenda mtu mmoja wetu alienda kwa hiyo kanisa akaambiwa pastor mimi ni jangili terrorist mimi alishaka and I'm not saying this on that foundation I'm just trying to show you real reality pastor so your pastor akasikiza hizo story na akasema hiyo mambo yangu ya committee kwa hiyo matimaze ni songa so so nilienda kusaidia na watu ambao wa AIC watu sijui kumaanisha msaada wako huko mikononi mwa Mungu au huko mikononi mwa watu wetu ukitengemea watu wetu utasafa lakini ukitengemea Yesu nakwambia utapenda kwa sababu andiko amesema amelaaniwa amtegemea na watu wengi wakikusaidia watatsidia sema wewe jamaa sasa tsidia kwa kusaidia Baba yangu asheni uliza nilipie siku hizo nikamwambia bwana sasa Na sasa hiyo sina nikamwambia let me bear the pain Even today I'm bearing pain of education Bwana Yesu apee sifa Haleluya Verse number 2 The Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man. He was in the house of his master the Egyptian. Maandiko nasema na Yusuf alikuwa mtu wenye kufanikiwa. Wacha nikwambie kufanikiwa sio hali ya nje. Unajua kuna watu wanaongoja wawe na pesa na magari ndio waona wamesubsidi katika life. Kuna watu wanaongoja waona wamenunua nyumba ndio waseme ni sasa. Kuna watu wako na majumba na wao successful. Bwana sifa. You need to understand you are in you are investment inside. Hapa nikiangalia kuna watu you are so mighty and great. The problem you have never known that. Shida ni ya kwamba hujui ni kweli. Nilikuwa naongea na my daughter to Canada the other day. Nashukuru Mungu Mungu. Sababu watoto wengine wazuri. Juzi amenishikwa tu nimeangalia mpya sana nikaona amefanya kitu kubwa. Kitu kubwa. Sema kitu kubwa. Bwana maana ni my daughter na niketi na yeye kumwambia you know you you don't know the potential you can. Naambia when I look at you I see a lot of potential. Ana muongelesha si ufanye hivi, si ufanye hivi, si ufanye hivi. Na muongelesha tu. Alikuwa anataka nimwombe jambo fulani nikamwombe. Na nikamwambia kwamba wewe ni mtu mkubwa. Nikamwambia the problem you don't know yourself. Maana mimi nilikuwa na ubiri mahali. This how we came to know her. Na tukakuwa na argument na nikasikia vile aliagi nikasikia vile unajua kuna watu wanaangaka kujinga utinga kama watu wajenda shule kijoni kama imechanganywa huji na chai na akili na lakini nikasikia vile ameagi there is a lot of weight of reason argue by talking anaongea anasema points so nikaanza kumuta mwanasiasa mwambie mwanasiasa nikatoa jina lake nikamuta mwanasiasa nikasema i like the way you have your own opinion you don't go by everybody's opinion you have your own ni kumaanisha you can lead people you can have a concept and advance in life na hiyo encouragement ikafanya akarudi shule akarudi shule akakuwa na somo akaliwa na kajamaa kingine hapo kajamaa kakaogo maana anaongea kisumu anataka kienyeji watu wana na kienyeji ndio kukura sana anataka unprocessed level ule ambaye ana mind 
mind wa misbehave a mind wa kifanya vibaya they are good but one of the challenges that they will never improve your life bana sifa unless you marry them and develop them praise the name of the living god maandiko yanasema yusufu alikuwa successful ako jail nikumaanisha watu wengi mnamko hapa mnafanya kazi kwa kabuni lakini wewe ni mkubwa kuliko bosi hapa lakini hujawahi jua kile hujafanya ni hujawahi jua wewe ni mkubwa kuliko bosi yako labda hata kwa hii kanisa yetu hapa kuna watu ni mighty minister than me kuna watu ni wahubiri hatari kuliko wengine ni vile wajaelewa hiyo potential na wakaanza ku expose wakaanza work on it wakajua there is something inside me great maandiko yanasema he was successful man in the house of potiphar ukitaka kupenya lazima ujielewe lazima uelewe the inner man of you eh ni nani ule mtu wako ndani eh ni nani huyo mtu ndani ndiye ataanza ku manifest nikitoka shukrani nikuja na gari nilikuwa na drive gari ya jamaa moja ni pasta barata das moja la tabia pasta baraka ya soma sana nafikiri alifikia class 8 lakini wakati county government iliingia yeye ndiye watu wa kwanza walipewa contract na tukana county government ukienda tukana ukitaka kuona mtu yote mkubwa anaweza kupeleka kwako how na kuna watu kwa na madegree huko alijijua yeye maisha yake ilifanyiwa na masomo na kisomo amewa dakika bana sifa sana amejenga kanisa kubwa sana ndio ale nipeleka kwa jamaa moja a diplomat wa south sudan huko nikaangalia the diplomat nikamwangalia nikasema hakuna kitu kubwa kama kujifahamu wewe ndani tunaweza nasomea kwa shule hiyo jamaa huyo jamaa kwa touch kwa embassy za very senior guy in the embassy ndiye ana manage border ya ni soda sina boda soda okay ni soda lengo rengi ni sisi yeye ni ako in charge hiyo kaniambia ukia linsimamia rusi ah kwenda kuchukua jamaa na baika hivi ndio makaa kusimamia alichukua diplomat sasa wewe unajihukumu vile huko unasema sina pesa hata watu wakimaliza ibada unatoka kama mwenye unaenda hata usalimie watu kati ya kwamba unajua sasa niko na nini hata vile nimevaa watu wataka wewe salimia watu cheka na wao kuwa na confidence kuwa na uhakika ya ule mtu ulia ndani yako unasema siongei na nyinyi kwa hesabu ya kisungu siongei kwa hesabu ya masomo ninaongea kwa hesabu ya ninachielewa hivi ninavyo pia naongea kama ule mtu najua kwa sababu hiyo ndio Mungu aliyompa kwa test bwana sifa sawa Haleluya. Maandiko yanasema Yusuf alikuwa successful man. Huyu mtu ambaye Biblia inasema alikuwa successful, alikuwa anaishi kwa mtu na alikuwa amenunuliwa pesa. Lakini yeye alijua yeye ni mkubwa kuliko yule aliyemnunua. Maana kumbuka aliyotaka doto. Alijua huyu jamaa amenunua, huyu si mtu kwelewa. Lakini kwa sasa nitamtumikia na waaminifu wangu. Sasa kuna watu ambao wanyenyeke When you are great your great is measured by how boy you are your ability to submit let me tell you greatness is measured by one's ability to submit ama ukuu unapimwa na kiwango cha mtu mwenyekevu kazi ya kuna watu wakubwa sana na wanyenyekevu unaona ule mchaina alikuja siku ya dinesh eh tukienda ushirika kwake yeye anakuanga hasha yeye anapea watu na bashi yeye anatuletea chai yeye ndio hasha Nyumba yake analipa 160,000 kwa mwezi. Na kuna watu hapo kumwambia kuwa acha amefura kama amefura kama chuo. Ukimwambia afanyie huu. Ukimwambia fanye hivyo. Hakuna kitu anaweza fanya hapa kwa kanisa maana yeye ni mtu mkubwa anataka kuja. Bwana sifa sana. Ukienda kwa ndebo yake ile yako ukienda kwa ndebo ya kanisa kwa ndebo yake utapata member of parliament director wa benki ameweka mshipi hapa asha anahasha watu kanisani 
maana hiyo ni kutumikia Mungu. Yesu ndo kufundisha faida ya kutumikia Mungu. Na vile watu wanafaa kutumikia Mungu. Ukubwa wako unapigwa na bila unaweza kunyenyekea. Kama unashika kunyenyekea saa hizi na una ma, na maisha yako yajainuka, je, ile siku utakuwa na kitu utanyenyekea? Yusufu alijua yeye ni mkubwa, akupeleka kiburi kwa Potifa akasema you don't understand, you don't know my dream. I have a dream to be the greatest. I have a dream one day of rule this country. So you cannot talk to me like that. You cannot have me like that. In the need you bought me for money. You need to know who I am. No. Alitumika. Kuna watu Mungu wazi akakaa na ongeleke kiburi ya Potifa. Na ongelesha wewe kutajirika. Uwezo ukakuwa tajiri kama hauko mwenyekiti. Watu wote wako na pesa nyingi na wako na kiburi, utajiri wao walitoa kwa shetani. I tell you hata kama ni pasta. You will not trust God in the prosperity in your life. You will not. I want to assure you that. Watu wote Mungu ametajirisha, utapata ni watu wenyekevu sana. Maana wachukui mali yoyote walio nayo kama haki wanachukua kama huruma za Mungu amewaonea anakwambia Mungu amenionea huruma hivi ni hivi hivi ni huruma na msaada wa Mungu hata utapata kuishi na wao very easy utapata kuishi na huyo mtu ni rais yeye sio complicated lakini unapata mtu mwingine hana mbele wala nyuma lakini complicated hata hiyo hizo kama leo Bwana Yesu apesifu sana Maandiko nasema and this master so that the law was with you. Ni ngumu kufanikiwa kama Mungu aliko na wewe. You need grace, you need God. Maana spiritual wow inahitaji supernatural empowerment. Kila unahitaji ule mwanamke alisema niko na mafuta kidogo. Mtu aliyekuwa na Mungu akasema yana uokote vibuyu. Alipookota vibuyu akarudi kwa ule mtu akona Mungu. Akamwambia nabii niliokota vibuyu. Akamwenda anza kumwaga anaanza kumwaga kibuyu cha kwanza cha pili hiyo ni kwa sababu mtu aliyekuwa na Mungu aliongea kama uko na Mungu hiyo biashara unaambia huyu naambia Mungu hapa ndio biashara anafanya basi Mungu anaanza kuinua anaanza kuachilia neno maandiko yanasema naye potifa akanotice ya kwamba Mungu ako pamoja na Yesu jeshi kama kuna watu wanaweza kuangalia hivi wasende shule Mungu ako pamoja na Yesu asema this guy God is with you Siji kama kuna eni, kuna chembe chembe za Mungu ambazo watu wanaweza notice in your life. Umeinteract na Mungu, baka Mungu anaonekana as an evidence in your life. Mama sifa sana. So, bila na nusu mefika. Ai, unataka kumaliza leo mapema? Ya wewe ukuje mao. Usisende oh bishop alitelewesha kesuba sana kama Nilikwambia tuombe maana tuko free. Tunaomba because you have loved God more than yourself. Bwana asifiwe sana. And you have identified that we need power. We need God. Kuna maana unahitaji power. Kuna vitu wa move bila power. Na Yesu aliambia pia mitume msiondoke Jerusalemu bila power. Kwa hivyo if you don't contract power they are things you will never be able to move because that dimension they only recognize power jesus and power and that one alimwambia petero chukua ndo wangu enda kwa mtu samaki utakayeshika wa kwanza bana sifa sana mtu alia na mungu mtu alia na mungu chachote wanafanya ufanikiwe if god be with you whatever you do prosper tukiendelea hapo utaona maandiko na sehemu ya kwanza na wakati Potifa li notice na maandiko nasema ya kwamba chochote kilikuwa katika mikono ya Yesu kilifanikiwa maandiko nasema alichukua vyote alivyokuwa navyo akaviweka kwa mikono ya Yesu alitoa alitoa alijua hizi vitu zikaa under my coverage zitakwama lakini zikaa under this person coverage so Joseph became a father before them before Potifa maandiko nasema kila kitu aliweka mikononi isipokuwa chakula aliyokuwa anakula na bibi yake what vitu tu mbili akupeana akupeana bibi yake kwa mikono ya Yusufu na chakula chake lakini anything else was under the hands of Joseph 
Unaniambia hapa uweze kukua promote? Wapi? You can. You need power to move, to speak, and you need the grace of God, and you need excellency, you need perfection, you need good name. What is open sister son? Hallelujah. What is sister son? Na maandiko unasema kwa sababu ya Yusuf. Shamba na nyumba ya Potifa ikabarikiwa. Sababu ya nani? What has been affected because of you? Simama na ndugu yako. 